Hi, welcome back to PC Builder. I'm Jason. This is GPU prices around the world. That's right, we're going around the world to check out what GPUs cost in different countries, and we're going to compare them against the US and, of course, determine the best price to performance GPUs at 1080p, 1440p, and 4K in each market. And then we'll take a big look at the global supply and where we're heading. If you get value out of this video, give it a like. It makes a huge difference to the channel. And, of course, subscribe and click that bell icon. That way you get notified when we release cool content. With that, let's jump into it. First, there's some more great news for gamers coming off of our GPU market update that we had a couple of weeks ago, where we said that Ethereum was merging on September 19th. Even better news, they've moved up the merge date to September 15th. It's actually not date bound, it's bound on a particular block, and based on the current hash rate, it's gonna hit around September 15th. Now, it's not like some big explosion's gonna go off on the 15th that's gonna you know just completely shove all those GPUs directly onto eBay for you, but that is gonna be the end of a effectively GPU mining as we know it. And that should be the beginning of the biggest flood of used GPUs we have ever seen. Nothing will come close to this. I'm super excited about it. Great news for gamers. All right, let's jump into the price comparison. Before we do, how does this thing even work since this is the first time we're using this format out of our GPU monthly update video, which by the way, if you don't watch that, if you haven't watched it, we'll leave a link to that down in the video description and I'll leave a link at the end of the video. You can just click on it and jump right there. So how are we doing this? We're looking at four categories of cards, both for NVIDIA and AMD. We're starting at the ultra high end, then we're going high end, mid range, and 1080p. If you're wondering what GPUs, we've listed them right here. We're comparing the US average price against the current price in US dollars of that country. And we have removed taxes so that these are apples to apples comparison throughout. If you're wondering where we get all this data from, well, here it is. You can actually take a look at it. We're not gonna go through it, but I'll leave a link to it down in the video description if you wanna peruse it. If you find any mistakes in there, please let me know. It is a ton of work to do this, by the way, for this many countries. It was absolutely days and days of work, so I really hope you like it. UK market this month looking pretty good in comparison to the US. We can see at the ultra high end for Nvidia, not that far off between average US price of $947 and a average UK price converted to USD of $959. Remember, that's without the tax included. And that was a big 19% price decrease as we saw in the US and some other markets. At the high end, the UK enjoys a slight price advantage to the US, down 3% versus US prices. And those prices are falling steadily, especially at the mid range where they fell 12% last month. That's pretty good. Down 11% lower than the UK. US price currently right now. 1080p pricing down 6%. I don't have numbers because we just added the 2060 and 16 super slash TI cards to the tracking, but we will have them next month. That being said, 6% lower than the US. On the AMD side, the market continues to be roughly equivalent to the US. Average price of an ultra high end card, that's the 6900 XT, $719 in the US and $736 in the UK converted without the taxes. That is however down 13% from last month. So we see steady price decreases on the AMD cards, bringing the market roughly equivalent to the US. If we look at the best price to performance GPUs that you should be buying right now, if you are buying in the UK, we can see at 1080p, it's the RTX 2060 and RX 6600. Now the prices I have listed here, note that these are the UK prices. They will have that added if that's uh, generally typical in the country. And the price to performance is in the US dollar figure. At 1440p, we got the 6600 XT for 337 pounds and the RTX 3070 for 503 pounds. And at 4K, again, if you're buying 4K cards, you know, with new GPUs coming, 503 pounds for the 3070 and the 6800, RX 6800 for 541 pounds. Jumping over to Canada and Canada, I got some good news and I got some bad news for you. The good news is that you're not the worst market. The bad news is you're also not the best market by any stretch of the imagination. Let's jump into it. And, and the worst, most sourced point I think right now is still at the ultra high end for Nvidia. Now you might say, Jason, who wants to buy those cards right now? And, and as far as I'm concerned, I wouldn't be buying those cards. But if you've decided to, you're going to get charged up the wazoo a little bit compared to the US and other markets. Average price of Nvidia ultra high end, $947 in the US and converted to US dollars without tax or anything, $1,066. That's 13% price difference. That's a little bit of an ouch. Now it did come down 6% last month, just not seeing the big price decreases you're seeing in other markets. That being said, not too bad for the NVIDIA high-end and mid-range cards, roughly equivalent to their US counterparts here. And at 
1080p, about 2% difference. Overall, not much price change in the Canadian market except at the Nvidia Ultra High End. Jumping over to AMD cards, we can see that you're still getting reamed a little bit here too, unfortunately, 18% higher than the US market for the 6900 XT, that's the Ultra High End. However, it did come down 5% last month, but your high end AMD GPUs went up 7%, a little bonkers, I don't get it. 2% drop on the mid range and 1080p cards, but you're still getting charged 16% more for an RX 6600 than folks in the US are paying. If we look at the best price and performance GPUs right now in Canada that you should be buying, 1080p, it's the GTX 1660 Ti and RTX 2060. Those have much better price or performance than really anything else out there right now. You've seen pretty large price cuts on those cards specifically. At 1440p, we're looking at the 6600 XT and 6700 XT. Remember, these are in Canadian dollars, not US dollars for the price and US dollars for the price or performance. At 4K, again, I have not cards that I would be rushing out to buy the 6800 XT. Slightly better than the RTX 3070, but neither one is a great value. Let's jump over to the Philippines, which is a market that historically is not well served by AMD. And unfortunately, because of that, you often see a uh, lack of supply and you also see higher prices on things. That being said, outside of the ultra high end in the Philippines, where yes, the current average price there of the ultra high end NVIDIA cards, $1,296 versus $947, a 37% price difference between the US and the Philippines. At the high end, we actually see where the Philippines price is slightly lower than the US. And this is primarily driven by prices at the 3070 and 3060 Ti range, not so much the 3080 range. And at 1080p, we're also seeing not terrible, as well as the mid range, not terrible, seven to 14% versus the US. Because when we get into the AMD cards, again, this is not a market that AMD does well in terms of servicing. You can see it's absolutely bonkers to try and buy an AMD GPU there. The average price versus the US is like 75% higher at the ultra high end, 58% higher at the high end, 55% higher at the mid range, and 45% higher at 1080p. You can see how AMD has really neglected this particular market because everything on the best price and performance list in the Philippines, it's it's an NVIDIA card. So 1080p, we've got GTX 1660 Ti, 1660 Super on the RTX 2060, both for, you know, 13,000 to 16,000 Filipino pesos. And then we've got the 1440p, 3070, 3060 Ti. Again, cheaper than their US counterparts, which is really, really nice in terms of US dollar value. At 4K, again, I'm not sure I'd be buying uh, a lot of 4K cards. However, the 3070, very appealing right now. I'm not sure I'd jump up to the 3080, almost double the price. Jumping into India, and India, I, I'm sorry, but you are probably one of the roughest markets in the world right now. I know for, for our folks in India, you're kind of used to that. Unfortunately, Nvidia, AMD don't do a great job of servicing this market. That being said, right now to buy an ultra high end GPU, you're paying 55% more than the US. That is absolute insanity. That being said, there are some bright spots here. Let's go through them. Nvidia at the high end and the mid range, you're paying roughly equivalent prices to what we're paying here in the US. And those prices are going down. There are some bright spots there. I don't almost don't even want to go through, unfortunately, what the AMD GPU pricing is. Again, AMD not doing a great job of servicing this market. 38% more at the ultra high end, 23% more at the high end, and kind of goes on from there. Now, that being said, we are seeing steeper price decreases on the AMD side. So it might just be that you're going to have to wait another month or two to see prices drop. And I know for those of you out there who are willing to buy a used GPU or just waiting for the impact of Ethereum miners selling off all their used GPUs to crater the new prices as well. I know there will be some relief probably at the later stages of September after Ethereum merges, as well as in October and November. And despite everything I just said about how GPU prices aren't great on the AMD side, AMD is still providing the best price to performance there in the Indian market right now with the RX 6600 leading the way. Although we also do have the RTX 2060 kind of closely following it for a little bit less. Then we've got the 6700 XT and 6600 XT. Not bad price to performance overall, 6700 XT slightly ahead of it. And then at 4K, again, I'm not sure I'd be buying these cards right now. Although, you know, we know that in India, 
you'll be one of the last markets, unfortunately, to get the RTX 4000 series card. So maybe you will consider it because these cards probably have a little bit longer lifespan there in this market. RTX 3070 and RX 6800 XT kind of around that $1.93, $1.94 price per two performance level. And we go to Germany, which is actually one of the best, if not the best GPU market in the world right now. Let's punch through this at the ultra high end for Nvidia. German market saw the same kind of price decreases that like the US, the UK and others did. It's down 17% last month to $987 for their current average price versus an average price in the US of $947. So they're only about 4% more expensive. News gets even better for Germany there. Their prices on high end on the mid range and 1080p range anywhere from six to 10% lower, lower than US prices, especially when you consider GPUs like the RTX 3050, RTX 2060 and the 1660. Super at more at the budget level. For AMD cards, German markets are kind of roughly equivalent to the US. Not quite there in terms of like the ultra high end, but certainly at the high end, they're 3% lower. Mid range, they're around the same price as the US right now. And then if we take a look at the best price to performance cards in Germany right now at 1080p, we've got the 2060 and RX 6600. Remember, these prices are in euros and we have included the VAT just so you know what the prices actually look like when you go to buy them. Price to performance still in US dollars 1440p, 6600. 6700 XT, again, great price for performance on them. At 4K, you can decide if you actually wanna go buy one of these cards, but right now, RTX 3070, RX 6800 XT, leading the way in terms of price to performance. Before we take a zoom out and look at the overall global market and compare all the countries to each other, let's visit Australia, which actually has a really good GPU market if you're shopping for Team Red, not so much for Team Green, especially at the ultra high end, where right now you're paying 26% more for an NVIDIA ultra high end card than you are in the US, nine $947 in the US, but $1,190 US dollar equivalent in Australia. The bad news kind of ends there and it actually gets much better. At the high end, we're looking at pretty much flat with the US, the mid range about 6% more and at 1080p, you're only paying 4% more than US prices. But it's actually AMD where you're gonna find the most value in Australia. You're actually paying 1% less at the ultra high end for like the 6900 XT right now than we are in the US. 5% less for the high end cards, same, price on the mid-range cards, and you're paying 5% less for the RX 6600. And you can see that AMD dominance in terms of the best price of performance cards in Australia right now, RX 6600, absolutely killing it. RX 6600 XT following that closely behind. And then you've got like the 6600 XT and 6700 XT in the 1440p category. At 4K, 6800 XT, RTX 3070. Again, you can decide whether or not those are valuable cards, but $1.49 price of performance, not that bad. So where does the overall global market Stand. Let's start off on the Nvidia side. At the ultra high end, you can see massive disparity here by country with the US at $947, UK similar, Germany similar pricing, but bonkers pricing in the Philippines and India and even Australia. Once we drop down to the high end though, you can see pricing is not that different. Yes, some markets like for instance, Germany considerably better than maybe India, but India is not that far outside of the realm of where US prices are. And as we come down to the mid range and lower end 1080p cards, you can see the market really, really does flatten out. Doesn't necessarily matter where you are in the world, you're paying about the same price. On the AMD side, you can definitely see that they are much smaller reach than Nvidia does. Uh, remember, Nvidia is about 79, 78% of the overall GPU market versus AMD's 20, 22%, depends on the quarter you look at. Uh, obviously, significantly smaller than Nvidia, and you can see markets like the Philippines and India, not well serviced by AMD whatsoever. If we take a look at the other markets, we do see relatively flat pricing among the ultra high end US, UK, Germany, Australia, but breaking it all the way down to 1080p and the mid range, we can see roughly comparable pricing even in places like the Philippines, which is a little higher than everywhere else, as well as India, Germany, Australia. Remember, if you got value out of the video, give it a like, it makes a huge difference to the channel, especially this guy right here. And of course, subscribe and click that bell icon, that way you get notified when we release cool content. Let me know down in the comments, are there other countries you'd like us to take a look at? Mr. Bear. If you missed our GPU market update, check out this video right here. We go through everything that's developing in the GPU market, news, current pricing, and whether you should buy now or wait. And we'll catch you on the next one.